Hey y'all, this is Dino. Welcome to my channel. I'm back after a few days. I just needed a few days off YouTube. And so I am back. I've been kind of working on my next craft fair idea. And so I thought while I was working on it, I would come back and show you what I was working on. Um, so I recently purchased these wooden tags on Amazon. And these are like three and a half by uh, about about six so three and a half by six so they're good size um wood tags so what i have done with these is i'm making fun tags that you don't just have to use on your gifts you can use these on your christmas tree you can use these on like a three-tiered tray there's so much you're going to be able to use these for and mostly because they're wooden so the first thing that i did is i painted them with this white craft paint i painted them white and they all let me see if i've got one that's no letters on it so this is what it ended up looking like after i painted it and this was like two coats so after i painted it what i did is i took my my little um little sanding block here and i kind of scruffed it up to make it pretty smooth so that way i can kind of make sure there's no drips in the paint or anything and then it made it really really smooth so that's the second thing that I did. So then what I did is I decided I wanted to put some sayings on them. So I went to my Cricut and I started looking for um, some different things that I can put on, you know, on, out of design space, how I can put on my tags. And this is a couple I still have to finish. So this is one is Jingle All The Way, y'all. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Christmas is all about Jesus and Santa's favorite. Now I've got a couple more I'm going to show you, but um, all I did was cut these out with my Cricut through Cricut Design Space and I just pulled off things. I just Googled or searched Christmas on there and that's where I came up with most of these. So that is what I did with that. Um, this is actually one that I, that I did and I cut this one out in green and I weeded this one out last night. So I have one in black like this. So I'm fixing to show you that one. So once I did that, then I am going to show you one of these on camera. And I think, you know what, let's do Christmas is all about Jesus. I like that one. I had to put at least one or two. I tried to do a variety of them. And um, yeah. So what I did, once I put this all on, and these little holly leaves, these actually were vinyl as well. And I added two, you know, a couple little jimmies on it to make it look like it was like little berries. And let me get you down here just a little bit better. So then what I did is I, I took my jute rope twine, whatever this stuff is. And I am just going to take a nice, good piece. Um, probably, I'm going to make it probably like maybe 15 to 18 inches long. And double it up. So make sure you're doubling it up here. Oops, sorry about that. So there we go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, take it and I'm just going to put this through the hole. And just kind of make sure it's even. And then I'm just going to keep that part on the back. Kind of pull it apart so it's ready. And then I'm going to add some ribbon. So I'm going to move that out of the way. So what I did is I um, grabbed some ribbon. And this is just a scrap I have. And this is more than enough. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put two of those, and it's probably gonna be too long. So actually, let me cut it a little shorter. Cut it about. This is about the length we need. Let me see about how long that is. That's about six inches. So do about six inches, and so you want two of the same kind, or it doesn't matter, I guess. And then I'm gonna grab. 
think I'm going to grab, let me see how much I have left of this one. This one's almost gone. I've been rolling through my ribbon. So I'm going to cut this one in half too. And I'm going to cut this one and put it like an X. And then I'm going to grab, and I've got all my ribbon sitting over here next to me here. So I know you can't see it. But I'm going to grab... I gotta see which one is gonna go. Mm. Let me see. I've went through a lot of my red ribbon, y'all. I really have. I might try some rickrack. I think I'll try this one. I'm gonna cut myself a larger piece of this, and this is just the teeny tiny stuff. And what I did is I took my ribbon kind of keeping it looking like an X and I'm going to tie this around it and tie a knot and so I'm holding it with my hand just gently tying myself a knot and it as tight as you can just real tight and tie a knot so tie it again and I'm gonna tie it as tight as I can and then trim it off so it's kind of like the length of the ribbon that you have put together and then take this, keep this one down, and then I'm going to take this and I'm going to add this over on the side. And I have, and before I do that, I'm going to go and I'm going to fix my ribbon. I like to make them look, cut them like a V. And then probably um, once I'm all done, I'll probably shoot the little, um, like a lighter on them so I could make sure it seals the ends. Let's see that with this one. Y'all, I've been sticking with my walking. I walked this morning. I started working. I'm at home this week. So I've been walking three times a day. I've only gotten in once this morning, but I'll go back out in a bit. And I, what I'm doing is I'm walking for 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm trying to get myself, got, get in a lot of good steps. So I'm trying to hit at least 6,000 steps. My husband comes home and because he's on his feet so much, he says, well, I got like 10,000 steps. And I'm like, well, you're always going to beat me because I sit for a living. Okay, so I'm going to use my wood glue. This is the wood glue that I've been using for a while. I got it from the wood connection. And I'm going to add some glue right there. Stick the lid on that. I'm going to put my bundle of ribbons right there just so it kind of holds it in place. And now I'm going to take my twine or my jute and I'm going to tie a knot and tie it as tight as you can. And see, they kind of go crazy and get a mind of their own, but they're cute that way. And then tie another knot, just like that. And because you put that glue, then it'll hold it all in place. And I've tied it really, really, really tight, okay? So now, what I was doing, and I got a little glue on the top. That's okay. It'll dry. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to add some beads. And so I've been putting three beads, and I'm going to show you the ones that I've already got close to finished. I'll show you that soon. Okay, I got a... Okay, and I think that I'll do like a black... And I'll do the red again. I've been doing a lot of black and red. That's pretty much what I have on hand. And white. Let me get a red one. 
Okay, so I have these wooden beads. I got these all on Amazon quite a bit ago when I was making um, when I was making the uh, the little the cute little beaded garlands. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure my ends are even. And I think I'll go with this red one since it likes to try to run away. I'm going to string them through. And if I can't get it through, I'll stick some tape on it. It's kind of thick with two pieces. Okay, I'm going to stick some tape on it. I'm going to grab a piece of scotch tape. And I'm going to put it on both ends. That way I can just easily feed them through. So see how I did that? So I'm going to put my first bead all the way down. Pull it tight. I think I'll do the white. And I'll do a red or a black. So it kind of matches the ribbon choice that I have. Now I'm going to snip these off. That's why if you make your jute a little bit longer, you have room to snip off and it, it's all good. You haven't ruined your project. So tie a knot. I'm going to tie one more knot. And pull it as tight as I can. You have to be a genius to get the knot out. And I'm going to leave, I don't know, six or so inches. I'm going to make myself a loop. And tie a little knot on the end. Pull it tight. Okay. And then I'm going to trim this off. And now I have a very sweet little tag ornament that you can hang on your tree. You can hang um, on your tiered tray, like I said. You can add them to gifts. So much you can do. Let me show you a few that I am close to finishing. I want to decorate this. This is the first one I did, and I did put a bow on this one, and then I kind of changed and started doing the ribbon the way I just did. But I, I'm going to leave this one. I think it's cute. Farmhouse Christmas. I'm still going to add some cutesy little things, just simple little things. Here's another one, Merry and Bride, and I added a little rick rack on the bottom. I'm going to still put something up here, so keep in mind these still are work in progress, or some of them are. I've done this one, it's Joy to the World, and see how I did just like what I showed you. And here's this one, I ate Santa's cookies. Aren't they cute? They turned out super cute, darling. And this one, Coffee and Jesus. Isn't that darling? And look at the beads. And then I have Christmas Joy. So I think that one just turned out cute too. And then this one, this last one, is Worm Hugs and Hot Cocoa. And they're so cute, aren't they? So, so cute. They have turned out just absolutely darling. So I've got um, three more to add um, the jute to and finish up. Um, I do have a few more um, that I might paint and do, or I might just leave it at about 10 or so. I think that they're great. I think they're going to be a great addition to my craft fair. And um, I, they're just simple and easy. It did take me a little time. Yesterday I started, you know, finding like the designs I want on Cricut Design Space. Now, if you do not have a Cricut, you can still do this. Buy yourself some letters, some thickers or something and decorate your tags. So just because you don't have a Cricut doesn't mean you can't do this project. Yes, you can. I just did it because this is what I have and I have it available to me and I was able to just go and find all kinds of different sayings that I want. But if you don't have a Cricut, it's okay. Do this anyway. Just get yourself the wooden tags and just decorate them up. And how cute are these to add to a, to a present, to a gift bag, to a tree, to a tiered tray, to a doorknob, anything. These are that, that cute. 
and can be used so, so many ways. I can't even tell you what my favorite one is. And I haven't even finished like adding kind of like how I added the rickrack on here on the bottom. And I used my wood glue and I just glued it on. And it's, and it's nice and dry now. I probably will put a little something up here. I'm going to have to go through my embellishments and see what I might want to add on some of these. But easy. Easy, easy, easy. So that's it, y'all. That is it. Now, uh, the other day, I hope you're still with me. The other day, I told y'all the story about the armadillo that my husband thinks is eating up our yard. I hope you remember that story. Well, y'all, last night, the armadillo made an appearance. <laughs> we don't know if it's the same one. We assume it might be. Um, but about 9.15 or so, our camera that's on the front of our house by our doorway went off. And it was the armadillo. I'm going to insert the footage here. I thought it might be kind of funny for you to watch. There he is right there. Go kill it! We're tired of it eating our yard! Hey there, Pat! So, yeah, as you saw, I was like, it's eating our yard! It's eating our I was freaking out because my husband, when he went around to the side of our house, and he turned the corner, he had his flashlight. Now, picture this, y'all. Picture this, my husband, he, he says, the armadillo has been here. It's only been 20 minutes. It showed up on our camera. He grabs his shoes. He grabs his flashlight and a golf club because I mean, he doesn't know what he's going to do. How is he going to get rid of this, this armadillo, you know, or get it to quit coming in our yard? The city would not give us a trap. They said that they won't go in traps. I've heard differently, but that's what the city said. So anyway, he goes out there and he, here he goes, he goes in front of our garage around, makes a right and voila, there's the armadillo sitting on the, of our, on the side of our house and he is glaring my husband down, this little armadillo. And so my husband, I'm like, what are we going to do? And my husband's like, I don't know. And my husband kind of swung the, swung his golf club cause he was going to try to scare it, you know? And, um, and it started running. It ran back in between our yards, between ours and our neighbor's yard, and it got stuck. And then all of a sudden it came running back and here's my husband chasing it with a, with a, with a, um, golf club. Get out of my yard! Get out of my yard! And, um, yeah, he chased it and it ran across the street. We live across from our green belt, so there's no house directly across from us. And it ran and went away. I hope that it's gone for sure. Or we'll see if it comes back. I don't know. But all I know is it's eating up our yard. It's digging gigantic holes. The city the city said that, that the armadillos are looking for grubs and worms and stuff. So anyway, that is it. I hope you enjoyed that little clip that came from our camera. And I was like, oh my goodness. I told my husband, oh my goodness, what are you going to do? He goes, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to get a BB gun. I got to get rid of it because it's destroying our yard. Our destroying. It needs to move on. It needs to move on and my husband will leave it alone. But for right now, this armadillo, you should have seen it. And they're the ugliest things ever. It was like bug eyed, just staring and its nose is long, and you could tell it had been digging up our yard, and my husband's like, look at this, and there's big old holes in our, in the side of our yard where he's digging holes. Anyway, we can't get rid of it. It was pretty eventful, um, and I'm freaking out because as it ran from the side of the house, my husband was like, get away, get away, and I'm screaming, and I'm running back up to the, toward our front door because it literally ran right past my feet. Scared me to death, and I'm out there, then I'm out there going, is it gone? It's eating our yard. It's eating our yard. It was eventful, though. It really, really was. Anyway. Hope you guys like that story. I hope the good old armadillo doesn't come back. We'll see. And um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And thanks so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.